All right, so I've been contemplating the last month or so on making this video just for the simple fact that nowadays, I don't know, I've grown to like my privacy and not put out so much of myself and my like personal life out online. Even though it's kind of counterintuitive because I do want to do this like social media stuff full time for a living one day soon. But I realized that if me making this video can at least help one man out there be better, then I'm all for it. So anyways, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about why I honestly kind of regret losing my virginity or my V card or whatever you want to call it. Not sure if I can even say those things on YouTube because obviously this world has become soft and sensitive now. But yeah, so let's just get into why I regret losing my V card. And so, Right now, I am 25. I lost my virginity about six or seven years ago. I can't really remember. It was either when I was 18 or 19. Or maybe it was 18 on the verge of turning 19. I think. One of the two. Anyways, so with that, Obviously, I got to experience like a new side of life. Um, I got to do an activity that only adults get to do and something, especially in today's day and age in 2023, a lot of people love, talk about, and is oftentimes popularized to partake in said activity, if you get what I mean. But what comes with that is, and I think a lot of people don't talk about this, is how much your body wants to do said thing. Because I've noticed with myself, especially the last two years since I've heavily gotten to self-improvement and working on myself and bettering myself as a man, and trying to become the best masculine man that I can be, it's also come with a little bit of distraction. Because prior to losing my V card, I was just primarily focused on my schoolwork, my fitness, working my part-time job, and overall just like, just living my life, not even thinking about like wanting to participate in, you know, the whole activity, um, you could say. Like, my mind wasn't even on it. Like, my body wasn't even, like, yearning for it prior to me losing my V-card. Now, after having losing my V-card, I've noticed I'll go through periods of my time in my life where, like, I'm still focused on working on myself and becoming the best, like I said, masculine man that I can be. But there are time periods where I oftentimes get a little sidetracked in trying to fulfill said needs and desires. And so like I'll catch myself from time to time on my during during my day, during those periods where I'll just be like on the hunt, like looking for women I can talk to, or even when I'm working out at the gym, like I'll catch myself like quickly glancing at a girl and this and that. And sometimes like I, I lose focus on my workout and I'm just like, bro, what the fuck are you doing, dog? Like you're not even where you want to be or who you want to be at. Why are you so focused on these things? And it's because like I'm a human, like I'm a man. I got needs too. And obviously my body wants to satisfy those needs. And I wanna say this for all my young guys out there, especially if you haven't lost your V card, bro, hold on to it for as long as you can. And don't be ashamed of it either. 
because I'll never forget the night before I lost my V card, bro, my virginity. One of my boys, and shout out my boy Marcus. Because obviously, you know, when you're about to, you know, lose your V card, you know, you tell your boys about it and shit. So Marcus was one of one of my boys that I had told. And I, I'll never forget that night when he told me. He's like, just be careful, bro, when you're doing that. And I and I asked him, I'm like, why? And he's like, because once your body gets introduced to, you know, the magic potion, you're gonna want more of it. And so at the time, I didn't understand what he meant. But now, now that I'm 25, six, seven years later, I'm just like, yeah, it makes so much sense now and I should have took his advice. Like I shouldn't have like went through with it because long story short, like the girl that I lost my V car to cause we had lost it together. Uh, cause she was also a virgin. It didn't end up working out. Like we had an on and off thing for like two or three years. And then out of nowhere, we just, we just stopped seeing each other. Um, and I haven't seen from her since. I haven't heard from her since. I hope she's doing well. But I say all that to say, it's like, it just wasn't worth it, bro. Um, and especially, like I said, the last two years, it hasn't been worth it. Because I tend to be more distracted um, than, than ever, than how I was back then. But like I said, I'm still disciplined. I'm still a lot better than most guys when it comes to like keeping my lust at bay and keeping that in control but like i said your body has needs it has wants it has desires and it's like you can't really blame yourself but i say all that to say bring i guess bringing the whole conversation full circle is to any guy watching this video is bro if you can hold out dog on losing your v card and you can keep it for as long as you can bro keep that shit until you get to where you want to be in life because even though you can be focused i know every man is guilty of this i don't i don't care what type of man you are i don't care how disciplined and focused you are you're fucking lying when you say you don't get distracted from time to time and obviously you can tame it but it's the fact that you're just expending mental real estate and sometimes like time and energy because your body is signaling, obviously you know when you get the signal, is telling you it wants that thing. You kind of tend to steer off track a little bit trying to satisfy that need or even trying to attempt to satisfy that need because not every guy is able to satisfy that need because obviously everybody's satisfaction levels are different. So if you can hold off as long as you can, bro, I highly advise it because I wish at that time I had taken my boy's advice more seriously. And yeah, it's definitely like, like I said, the last two years, especially the last few months with me going out on a fuck ton of dates, it's been on my mind. I'm just like, yeah, if I could go back in time and stop myself from that happening, I would, because I feel like I'd be much farther along and would have made much more progress in my life had I not lost my V card and had not from time to time, like I said, distract myself. Um, but obviously it's too late now. I'm not sure if I'm going to be uploading this take specifically Knowing myself, I'm a perfectionist, and so I might record this video a hundred times before I even post it. Or I might just be like, fuck it, because I've seen a lot of guys recently with small YouTube channels hop on YouTube, and they're just posting straight off the iPhone. Like, they're not even editing their clips, nothing. Like, they're just posting their raw thoughts, even if it's all over the place. And so those guys are kind of inspiring me to post this video. But that's if I don't retake this video so yeah i say all that to say if you're seeing this exact clip right now just know i had enough courage and i told myself that fuck being a perfectionist just post it and also when you're watching this video 
we are on the verge of hitting 1,000 subs. And if I haven't already hit it by, by the time I post this video, we have hit 1,000 subs. So I just wanted to say thank you guys for 1,000 subscribers. I told myself I was going to start posting long format YouTube videos again once I hit 1,000 subs. A lot more content coming soon. I don't know what this channel is gonna be about because I'm obviously pivoting from what I've posted the last couple years. Um, even though it's been two years since I've posted, but I was posting on and off for about three or four years prior to two years ago. And obviously that type of content I don't wanna do anymore. Um, and so I'm trying to figure out what content I wanna to shift to. But if there's anything you guys want to see or if you have suggestions on or you have questions about and I have knowledge or experience on that topic, let me know down in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to make a video on that topic. But other than that, I want to say I love you guys. Thank you guys again for all the continuous love and support on the content, especially as of recently with the fucking shorts. Like, I didn't realize the amount of support I get on the shorts would be this much, but... I'm grateful for it, but yeah, I love you guys. More content coming soon. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.